Hi, and welcome back to Curling Chronicles Bang and Forth. Today we are here with Elaine Dag Jackson, um, the, a seven time Olympic coach, a member of the Curling Canada national team, and the director of the Forfoot Curling Camp in Toronto, Canada. Thank you so much, Elaine, for chatting with us today. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. So, let's get started. So, where are you from, and how did you get into curling? Well, I was born in Vancouver, BC, Canada, and uh, moved here to Kelowna a few years later, where I started curling with some friends. Um, but my history is that my father was a world champion in Vancouver when I was nine years old. So I always knew about curling, but never really did it until I was in my 20s when I thought, oh, I think this is pretty great. I'd like to try to get competitive. So how do you balance work curling and coaching all at the same time because most of the people we've interviewed before has separate jobs. Yeah, most people do have separate jobs and that was the case for me early in my coaching career. I had a regular day job but I wanted to become a professional coach so uh, so I am a professional full-time coach now but I do know it is really difficult for um, the same with with athletes or with coaches who have a job and also compete. So I think understanding your capabilities and your uh, limits, getting lots of sleep and you know uh, general exercise and taking care of yourself, making sure you're healthy and that you also have some time for yourself as well as your sport and your job and your family. So how did you decide to become a coach? Well, I thought I was going to be a curler <laughs> and when I was a competitive curler I just didn't really achieve my goals. I realized and I was asked to coach a very very skilled young team and the first year I coached them they came second in the world so they won the Canadian championship when they were like 23 years old in women's and I lost the world final to Norway and I thought be better at this than actually doing it myself. So I just found that my skill set was better at helping other people accomplish their goals rather than me doing it myself. And what's it like becoming uh, being an Olympic coach? Well, it's really exciting, obviously. It's exciting to go to the Olympics, but it's really very hard work. You know, a lot of people don't realize that. Uh, what you see on television at the Olympics is so exciting, but when you're there, it's very different. It's, it's uh, one coach said to me one time, it's like sports in Disneyland, where there's so many things going on around you that could be distracting, or could be like, oh, I'd love to go watch like the hockey game, but that's not why you're there. So if you, it's, you, know, you really have to stay focused on why you're there and what your job is whatever your job is and in coaching it's taking care of the athletes and so it's hard work but it's enjoyable and very rewarding. Now, how do you prepare your team for big competitions like Olympics and World Championships? Well a lot of work is done a lot in advance so you're already preparing yourself for when you're going to the Olympians right it starts very early where you train those good habits and uh, learn the proper techniques early and then you have a chance to challenge yourself to be better over time and then just prior to an Olympics or a major championship um, rest and recovery is really important so you want to train but you, you need to make sure you don't train right up until the last minute and then go into the competition being a little fatigued right you um, you want to make sure you're completely rested you have a hundred percent gas in the tank and that you're kind of going in with confidence and in a restful kind of happy place. So how do you give your, uh, your team like negative feedback and keep them motivated at the same time? Well, athletes want the truth, right? They work really hard. Uh, high level athletes want to know what they need to do. So they're not as concerned about having all the compliments. You know, they know they're good, but they want to be better. So they want uh, the straight information. So it has to be really accurate. You have to make sure that it's correct, that it's relative to them, and then they will want it. They'll want to hear it, I think. Um, so it's, I don't think it's negative. I think it's just information. Now, what do you think makes a great coach for juniors? 
That is a good question. I'm not sure if I've been asked that question before. So a great coach for juniors would have general skills. They don't need to be an expert, I think, to be like a world leading expert. Uh, because I think in juniors, there's a lot of teamwork involved, a lot of making sure that um, everybody's in a good place, that there's uh, maybe a good manager as well as um, practice coach. So I guess they would have to be very organized and help you be organized with what you wanted to do. So when is the time to practice as opposed to how many competitions you go in? So some manager skills too. So for people who are looking for a different curling camp, what do you want to tell them about uh, what we're curling camp? Well, apparently uh, we are doing something right because we've been doing this since 1982, so <laughs> it's a long time. Um, people seem to really enjoy it here. Um, not only do we teach curling skills, we really teach teach people to uh, to embrace the joy of curling. Whatever reason people come to curling, it's to be happy and to find the joy in being a member of a team, being part of a bigger team at the Fort of Curling Camp, because once you're here, there's a lot of people you're going to become friends with. So it's combining learning curling with a lot of fun. And what makes this camp unique? Well, I think uh, it's the people that we bring together, the leaders that understand what we want to accomplish here. They've been like a curling team. They work hard together and support each other, have each other's backs and really work, what have learned to really work well together and to really represent what I believe is the important thing in curling. We all believe the same thing about the, the joy and the making sure that it's a very fun and positive environment. So have you coached mixed doubles before? I have and not. <laughs> Sorry, I have not coached mixed doubles. No, I coach men's and women's and juniors. Yeah. How would you say that coaching mixed doubles would be different from the coaching for? Well, I think I think strategy, um, but it's a different strategy obviously, like very different. And I do notice that when um, athletes come from mixed doubles into four-person teams that I'm coaching, they're way more aggressive. So I think um, a coach would have to help the athlete be fearless because they're making difficult shots all the time. So help with the mental part of the game and, um, you know, a kind of a modified strategy where almost everything is going to the same place. So how do you think new curlers should be working on? What, uh, what do you think you should be working on with a coach? Well, the most important thing is to learn to throw the rock well. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when you start curling, you don't have an opportunity to do that. You maybe take a learn to curl course that might be a couple of hours, and then you go play games. So if there's any way that you can go back and take another learn to curl course, or even book a private lesson, or even watch a YouTube video where you can learn how to practice skills on your own. I think you will enjoy curling more as a new curler if you learn how to deliver the rock well and start to make some shots. So what advice do you have for new or young curlers? Play um, with people you like to hang out with. Like, people you like curling is so fun right but sometimes it's not fun right at the beginning if you if you start in the wrong place if you maybe start in a league that's too serious or with people that want something different so i think if you're going to enjoy curling right from the start you maybe find a good place for you to belong i think club managers are really good at helping people do that and coaches are really good at helping people find the right place for them to start and what's a fun fact about yourself that not many people know? About myself? About outside of the world. Oh yes, well I'm a really good slalom water skier. And um, yeah, I see a lot of people are surprised by that because I've been doing it since I was about 15 years old. So that's a really, really long time and I just figured if I keep doing it, I'll keep still being able to do it. So I just can't stop. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, for and thank you so much for hosting this amazing camp. My pleasure. You guys were great to have at this camp. And 
you represent the sport so well. I hope that you'll be a face of curling for many years to come. Thank you so much. Good curling. Good curling.